on YouTube, Clover Bells here, back with another Series 12 video, and this is a, another team fixing video. So if you are a subscriber to the channel, this is a tier two perk uh, categorized as team fixing where you, the viewer, can submit a team to me and I will review it and I will fix it. I will optimize all the spreads. I may swap out a couple of mons just to make the team a little bit better. I'll show some damage calcs just to show you uh, some important things you can live and important things you want to KO. Uh, and this is all also about the EV spreads that we'll do. And then after that, we showcase it uh, for a couple of games on the showdown ladder just to show how the team plays out, right? So uh, again, if you are interested in the team building, that is a tier three sub where you and I, the viewer, uh, and myself again, uh, we will sit down in a Discord call and we will build a team from scratch, right? So the difference between tier two and tier three is tier two, you already made the team yourself like this on my screen right here, and then I fix it. Whereas tier three, uh, you don't have a team at all and uh, we build the team together, all right? And then we hash out all the spreads, we test it out a little bit, and then you have yourself a team, okay? So if you're interested in any of those perks, Again, join the, the channel, subscribe to it. It's very affordable. I think that tier two sub is just $5 and the tier three one, the team building one, it's just $9.99, AKA $10. So very, very affordable, very cheap if you ask me. But anyway, let's just get onto it. So I know the video says uh, Zama Zenta Zygarde team fixing and I'll tell you how that ended up. Uh, but this was how the story started. So the viewer submitted this team. So this is a Zama Zenta Calyrex Ice Rider team. Okay, and uh, they, they were interested in Zamazenta, and they were also interested in Galarian Zapdos. Um, now, the, the, the rest of the team um, actually looks pretty good, uh, but there's a couple of things that I would uh, not advise or change. So, they chose Calyrex Ice Rider for some reason. Uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind that set, except there's just no Trick Room user. And also, you don't want to have Protect... Uh, on a Pokemon with a uh, choice scarf, right? So that's a little that's a little weird. Uh, maybe they just you know copy pasted the spread somewhere, uh, and then they just forgot to uh, change the item. But again, generally you don't want a choice item on something with protect because then you're locked into it if you click protect. Um, this set right here, this is okay. The Behemoth Bash, Snarl, Howl, okay, and Wide Guard. That's a good set. Um, the, the spreads are yeah that, that that's not too bad i mean I, I could i would do something different but this is okay now the this one uh close combat break okay so generally if you want to have like the the galarian zapdos right you you generally want something you generally want it to have like coaching and you want it to be focus sash right um the lando is fine the grimstar that looks like my old grimstar ev spread here and then oh there's trick here oh I, i'm not sure why that that's there uh, but I, I understand it. Oh, right. There's the full incense. Okay. Um, and then the incense. Uh, okay. Careful nature first bump. That's fine. Oh, we are a very fast incense. Uh, why are we so fast? <laughs> um, okay. So here's the thing. So I I also, you know, I asked the viewer, you know, uh, would you be open to changing Calyrex Ice Rider? Because here's the problem. There's no trick room here. And the team is just, even though it's not super fast, it's just way too fast to operate next to Calyrex Ice Rider. Like, the, it, either you commit to trick room or you commit to the Zamazenta build, all right? Because, uh, but you can't try and do both. Like, I could see Zapto Zamazenta together along with Landorus. Like, this is okay with Grimmsnarl instant support. Like, these five, that's actually not bad, all right? But with this, this is just too slow, or even with the choice scarf, it, it just, it, it's not, it's not going to do enough for it. So either we remove this or we remove this, uh, the Zamazenta, and we commit to a Calyrex Ice Rider team, which, you know, Grimstar and Instant would be fine. Then we just add in like, you know, Mimikyu and then, you know, another restricted of choice, right? So I asked the viewer, okay, but the, they wanted Zamazenta and they were open to pairing it with anything else. And I was like, oh, okay. That, that's a little bit easier. That's a lot more manageable uh, because I, I, I was not sure how I was going to build around these two. <laughs> okay. So then I decided, okay, you know what? We haven't done Zygarde on the channel yet. So let's let's go ahead and do Zamazenta Zygarde and then just fix everything else here and maybe probably change a couple mons. So that's how the team came to be. So now let's go ahead and go on to Showdown. And now let's build a Zamazenta Zygarde team. 
Okay, so here we are. We're back on Showdown. So here we go. We got Zama, Zenta, and we got Zygarde. So why would you pair these two together? So um, these two, if there's a team to try and utilize both of these, I think this is the way to do it because Zygarde by itself in a single restricted format it just wasn't that great. It, it, it was just too passive. It needed help to try and set itself up. Um, and when you take a restricted slot that is, you know, kind of passive, that's not what you want. You want a restricted slot to be, you know, dominant. All right. And then Zamazenta is the same thing, right? Zamazenta, you know, is a it's very good in a dual restricted format where you can enable its partners and enable your other restricted. But by itself, uh, it, it's just a little bit lackluster and it's not as good as Zacian offensive wise. Now, you might say, well, base 130 attack is actually pretty good um, and the bulk is very, very strong. That's true but then when you factor in stuff like incineroar and then you know intimidate cycle and now this this base 130 attack just doesn't seem as as good um and then you know you, you have the, the the fighting steel typing you know it, although it's not too bad you know you can at least take neutral from max airstream um you're still weak to max quake um and then you just don't have enough offense that zation does to be able to deal like you know really really strong damage but the bulk is very good um but now when you pair these two together, all right, now we got something because now you have options where you can do something like Howl for Zygarde and then you could even do something like Coaching. Uh, let's put it here. Like you could do Coaching where you can boost Zygarde's attack and defense and then Zygarde also has this move coil so if you can go for coaching and coil now all of a sudden zygarde looks actually very very strong and it's hard to kill and then when you get it below half health it becomes zygarde complete and now you're in a whole mess where now zygarde complete can just stay bulky for the rest of the game and then you know just spam thousand arrows um so and then it just you know it, it just doesn't die <laughs> um and you know what's good about thousand arrows is you know it, it just brings flying types to the ground so it, it's it's really really nice um but yeah these are the two that really go well together so we got a, a dragon type we got a steel type you know we need a fairy type and the viewer had the right idea by going with grimmsnarl here um so now this is the core that you want with zygarde grimmsnarl and and zamazenta because now you can make your team even more bulkier where you can just go for screen support and then extra speed control with like something like thunder wave and then zamazenta and zygarde both of them ju they just don't die and then over time you know you can wear the opponent down um but by getting in the right position and then just dominating now the problem here is both of these are very weak to intimidate right so now we need something to discourage intimidate and i think thunderous is absolutely the play here and of course the the defiant one right so now what you're starting to see how the team comes together because now if the teams want to lead their incineroar now you can go for something like zygarde thunderous as a lead and now even though your zygarde's minus one your thunderous is plus one and thunderous uh, can go for max airstream and max knuckle to make your zygarde even stronger right you can even go zamazenta thunderous where now zamazenta can go for coaching boost this thunderous make it even stronger and if they lead their incineroar that's just bad news because then uh, what ends up happening is now the thunderous uh can just you know become plus two plus one and then goes for airstreams and now zamazenta all of a sudden looks very very strong so you know but lots of combinations that you could do with these three um and especially behind grimstar screen support um and then from here uh what you want is all right well now i need my own intimidate right and i need something against zation because zation is just really really strong you know it's the top restricted and that's that's kind of how you want to deal with it uh, with the incineroar here um uh, so strong fire type Okay, and then even Incineroar can become a good offensive option because then if you go for coaching on your Incineroar, now Incineroar becomes, you know, plus one attack, plus one defense and becomes bulky as well. So you can kind of see how we're, we're going about things here. So three very strong, very solid physical mons, you know, a couple support mons here um, that can become offensive after like coaching boost. Uh, but now how do we round out the last slot here? So basically, okay, we got the core here, but you know, we're kind of uh, a little bit in trouble in terms of like, you know, Venusaur sleep powder shenanigans or Amoongus sleep powder shenanigans. So what's another good way to deal with that? And you know, Zygarde's also weak to other dragons. Um, but now Zygarde doesn't run dragon moves in general. So what's also good with this is Tapu Fini. And now you get a war, a nice water type on the team. Now, 
what Tapu Fini does here is it sets the Misty Terrain. So now um, Dragon Damage against Zygarde is not very strong. And um, you stop Sleep Powder and you stop um, all kinds of other status shenanigans that teams want to go for. Like Burns, you know, if they burn Zamazenta, they burn Zygarde. That's not good, right? But if we have Tapu Fini, um, then it's very, very nice. So I think this is the six that we're going to want to go with. Uh, so let's just go ahead and reveal the gifs. We got Zygarde, we got Thunderous, we got Tapu Fini, Grim Snarl, and Incineroar. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hash out the EVs, the items, and the, the move sets. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we're going to do all the moves and the EVs. So of course, Zamazenta is going to have coaching here. Now, technically, I prefer Hal, but I think for the viewer, coaching is totally fine. And I think on this team, you do want coaching. So you're going to want Behemoth Bash. Um, you are going to want your fighting stab close combat. You know, this will allow you to KO like other Incineroars. Although, but you have other things for like instant stuff. But, you know, really, really good into like something like Dialga, right? You know, that that's also uh, relatively standard and common in this format, I would say. And, you know, close combat can deal big damage to Dialga where, to the point where like Zygarde can just clean up there. But anyway, there's our coaching. Now you can go a couple things here. You can go just protect. You can go wide guard. Um, but I think what you also want here is Snarl. I, I think Snarl is actually a really, really nice move here. Um, and I remember Will did this. Uh, and th this is also on uh, some other Zamazenta teams. So Snarl is actually really, really nice. Um, and then from here, now we go into Zygarde. So Thousand Arrows and Coil, those are going to be the standard moves here. Protect in our last slot. Of course. Now, what we can go here, you can go another, you know, uh, physical attack. But I think substitute is also relatively fine because this way, um, kind of like how Zation goes for substitute, you can stop intimidate, you can stall out Trick Room and Tailwind turns, um, and if you can get into, you know, Zygarde complete, and then you know you just go for sub, then you just you just don't die over time. Um, and of course, you know, Coil is just our our attack, defense, and accuracy booster. Uh, this is what makes Zygarde really, really bulky. And then you put this behind like Grim Snarl screens, get a couple Coil and Coaching boosts. Uh, it just doesn't die. Um, and then from here, because we have Tapu Fini, you know, I kind of like Misty Seed um, just to get that extra special defense boost because we're getting defense boost from Coil um, and also Coaching. But we we could also use you know special defense boost and Misty Seed can also give us that. Um, now, granted, we can also Dynamax and go for Max Quake, and that'll also give us the special defense boost. But, you know, just having that extra boost, um, and this way you can, you know, further utilize synergy with Tapu Fini. All right, Grim Snarl. So, this is going to be a light clay set. Uh, and again, you're still going for a Spirit Break, um, and then Light Screens and Reflex. Uh, and then over here, you can go um, Thunder Wave or you can go again Scary Face. Now, what I do want you to be careful. Um, is again, you do have a Tapu Fini on the field. So uh, if you do have Fini, uh, you can't really go for Thunder Wave. Uh, so you just want to be careful there. But um, again, if you do want Scary Face, that's also a very, very good option. Uh, I think it's totally fine. I think either or is fine because I don't think you bring Grimstone and Fini to the game. Um, I, I can't think of many scenarios where you would want both. Um, so I think still going for Thunder Wave is relatively fine. Okay, and then from here, Thunderous, so we just, we, you know, you can go Assault Vest on this thing, but because we already have the Grimstarl support, uh, I think just going Life Orb, just for like super big damage is very, very good. Um, and this is really good into like Kyogre teams, uh, and then things that are just weak overall to max Airstream, you know, those grass types. Uh, so Wild Charge, Fly, um, Brick Break is my tech choice. And then protect. Now you can go super power here for like more damage, but I think just being able to break screens uh, is really, really good. Because um, you know, outside of Dynamax, you know, Wild Charge and Fly are not so great. So if I can click this, uh, then this is also pretty, pretty good. Instant, relatively standard. We'll go Citrus Berry because we have the Top Fini to stop sleep stuff. Um, so I do like Flare Blitz. Uh, I do like Fake Out. I do like um, Parting Shot, of course, and then Throw Chop for our our Dark Stab move. Uh, and again, we do want Throat Chop over like Darkest Lariat because this will stop other Incineroars from going for their own Parting Shot or going for their own Snarl so you can trap them in. Okay, now Tapu Fini. So this is going to be the interesting set. So this is not going to be an offensive Tapu Fini. This is going to be a support Tapu Fini with something like Nature's Madness, 
okay heal pulse okay now the reason why we're running heal pulse is because you know zygarde this is for zygarde really like you're taking a bunch of damage and then once your zygarde complete you can get recovery over time with you know heal pulse stuff so and then also you can also use heal pulse for zamazent and thunders if you want to just to keep them relatively healthy um but yeah, Heal Pulse is a nice move. And then over here, we want Icy Wind, actually. So a little bit more extra speed control. And just being a bulky finning that just clicks Icy Wind can help these guys uh, dominate the game. And then from here, we got to have at least one water move, right? So let's just go Muddy Water. I think this is fine. Um, and this is our Finny set. And we're going to make it bulky, right? So that's that's our six in terms of item choices and move sets, right? I think I did them all. Let me just make sure. I did, yeah. All right, so now let's do the EV. So what's actually really convenient about this is, okay, first of all, we're gonna go Jolly Thunderous, okay? And that's gonna be 179 speed. Now, what's also really convenient with Zamazenta is you don't have to go Jolly Zom. You can actually go Adamant Zamazenta and look at what happens when you go max speed Zamazenta. 180, so you are by default one speed faster than thunderous and that's very very convenient because then you can go for coaching first and then go for airstream and now because you're adamant now you act you can actually deal like solid damage instead of being jolly zamazenta so what we can do here is now that we have this um in terms of our speed now we can actually go to a second ev bump here so here's 165 so let's see where the first bump is should be 176 I, I usually memorize these numbers by heart now yeah so 76 ev investment gets us to 176 so this is the first bump you can see how you went from 174 in this stat to 176 so again if you don't know what an EV bump is, and if you're trying to play competitive Pokemon, you gotta know what EV bumps are. So comment in the video section below. If you don't know what an EV bump is, I will write it out and explain it because I do it every other video. I feel like everybody asks me at least once, what is an EV bump? I guess it doesn't make sense when I explain it in the video, but um, I'll explain it writtenly. Uh, yeah, via written text uh, in the comments, right? So second bump, again, it's going to be 80 EVs invested. So after 76 investment, if you add another 80 EVs, this number will go to 156 and you'll hit the second bump. So let's see where that is. All right, uh, right here. So you see how you go from 185. Now, if you go to 156, boom, now it's 187. You see how you skipped 186? And you went straight to 187. This is the second EV bump where your stat goes up by two points instead of one. And then from here, you can just uh, optimize uh, the rest of your bulk here. So you can just go something like this, or you can just go 175 investment and then just add the rest uh, into, you know, just leftover bulk in general. I mean, it's not so big of a deal. You could just dump the rest into something like this. And then just honestly. Uh, you can just go one point here and then boom there it is so um yeah i think this is also relatively solid i actually i think i'll just go like this yeah so um overall i think this is a very strong zamazenta uh in terms of the damage it can do look you're at 188 damage that's pretty solid you're at your speed max speed where you can outspeed your thunders by one point and go for coaching and then you know just a little bit of leftover bulk all right, so Zygarde here. So Zygarde again, um, you know, just for a speed stat in general, like if you, for, for Zygarde, of course we're gonna go adamant. We need to do some damage with this because base 100 attack, it's, it's okay. It's not like bad, but it's not like overwhelmingly oppressive, right? Like if you think of Zamazenta, like Zamazenta, you know, doesn't do that much damage. It does damage, but not like crazy damage. And you have base 130, right? But then Zygarde has only 100. So, and then you're using a spread move anyway. So your damage is actually kind of lacking a little bit. So, um, so we do need to go adamant. And honestly, we're just gonna go almost max here with uh, our spread. See, look, if we hit third EV bump at 236, we're only at 165. So this is where we we really need the max knuckle boost and you know the the coils and the coachings. Uh, so this way Zygarde can do a lot of damage. And this is why Zygarde is not so popular, right? Because you you need it. You need to set it up and you need to enable it for it to be for it to do well and anytime you have a restricted or a pokemon that needs help to, to do well it's it's probably like not super amazing but it's still very much viable and still very good once you do get uh to set it up but i'm just giving you the sense of why it isn't used if it's like so good um 
but yeah, anyway, so from here, um, what you can do is with a couple of speed tiers, like you can go 120. So this way, after plus one, you outspeed an opposing thunderous. But honestly, I'm just going to go to 125. I think this is fine because this way you can at least outspeed like most Groudons um, and then just deal damage to them. Okay. Uh, and then from here, honestly, you can just add uh, some bulk, um, something like this. And just go 188 investment. So now you're at this 207 number, and what this does is uh, it optimizes your your weather damage chip. So like any if something goes for like max hailstorm or you know just that weather chip damage, then 207 divided by 16 is 12.9, which rounds down to 12 damage per turn. So you're optimizing your weather chip, and you know you're just bulky. You're just bulky overall, and that's the point of Zarga is to stay bulky. Set up these coil boosts, get some coaching boosts from Zamba Zenta, and then finish the game. All right, that's the idea here with Zygarde. Okay, and then Grimmsnarl here. We're just going to go with our standard Grimmsnarl set here. Uh, careful nature just to be able to resist those special attacks, especially the Calyrex Shadow. Um, we're just going to go second EV bump here, uh, which is going to be 116. Yeah, so like 119, 121. Yeah, this is it. This is our, our bump. Um, a tiny bit of speed just to outspeed most Grimmsnarls that don't go for speed. Uh, which I think is a mistake, but you know to each their own and then from here um, Yeah, this is our, our old EV spread. So what this does is after reflect and intimidate uh, From Incineroar you can actually live the Zacian Behemoth Blade So I think that's really it's really good for Grimmsnarl because if you just die to Behemoth Blade Then your Grimmsnarl is basically useless because you want to be able to live the Behemoth Blade and then click something else after that um, and then go down. All right. So if you can get your screens up and then get a free switch in, uh, that's what you want, right? But you need both screens. All right. Thunderous, very standard here. So we're, we're just gonna, we're not going to do too much here. Nothing too crazy. We're just going to again optimize our life warp chip and then just dump the rest into it into the attack. This is a very standard thunderous. Um, nothing too uh, like out of the water here. All right. So Ensign, um, again, we're going to go careful Ensign just to be able to resist. Uh, those special attacks, especially Calyrex Shadow, and we also have the Grimmsnarl support. So we're gonna go with the the faster Insin here, um, with 95 speed. All right, first bump in the Careful Nature, uh, a little bit of attack, tiny bit actually, and then from here, uh, just being extra bulky. So then with this defense investment, you live the zation close combat attack after an intimidate right so that's all that's always why you want to do um with this investment now sometimes you might see something like this where it's 244 and 68 but um again we have the citrus berry we want to have an even number in our hp stat so this way we get the best bang for our buck when it when it comes down to the math right because then you're going to be getting a decimal and then it rounds down and you don't want that because then you're wasting hp ev so if you get a nice even number uh then it works out okay so that's our instant spread so now for Tapu Fini, uh, we are going to go Calm Nature, um, and this is going to help us against, you know, stuff like Reggie Lucky, you know, Thunderbolts and whatnot, so this way we can live it. Just going to go 60 speed here, you know, 112 at plus 1, we'll just outspeed base 100s, uh, but we want to outspeed those speed creepers, so we just go to 113. We'll go to the first EV bump with 76 investment here, so check this out, you see you're at 174, then once you reach 76, boom. There's the bump because now you just jumped up the uh, two stats there. Um, a tiny bit of special attack again. The point of this Tapu Fini is not really to deal damage. It's to be bulky and help heal your mon, specifically Zygarde, um, and just you know pivot in and out just to reset that terrain. So this way you don't get slept or burned. And then from here you just want to have 244 HP. You know just again another even number for your leftovers recovery, just to optimize that because if you go to 177 then you're just wasting a, a point of EVs in the HP. And then from here, you just have like extra leftover bulk, uh, and you can just dump that into the defense over there. And with uh, Reflect and Intimidate, now you can uh, actually resist Rillaboom Grassy Glides. All right, so yeah, this is it. I think this is a solid squad. Did we did we do all the moves? I think we did, yeah. So just go ahead and get a pace here. And you can kind of see how this team came together and what it's supposed to do, right? So if we look at this, right, so, you know, you got Zamazenta that can enable the Zygarde and the Thunderous uh, with coaching support. And then you can also use Snarl to neuter those special attackers like a Dialga, like a Palkia. Uh, speaking of Palkia, Palkia's not going to want to come to this game because, you know, you got Grim Snarl, you got Zygarde, and you can even have Tapu Fini over here just to, you know, make sure those Dragon-type moves don't hit Zygarde very hard. Uh, 
And then you can also boost it with the Misty Seed. So actually, Palky and Dialga are not going to be doing that much damage to Zygarde uh, once you think about it. And then Incineroar is just going to do Incineroar things. You know, a strong fire type against Zacian, uh, against both Calyrexes. Uh, and then just, you know, Intimidate Cycling, Parting Shot Cycling, just weakening their opponent. So this way Zygarde and Zamazent and Thunderous can take those attacks better. And then just set up with Coaching Boost and Coil Boost and then just dominate the game after things have been weakened. All right. And then Grimmsnarl does the same thing. You know, you got your screen support, really good against Trick Room. Really good against stalling out uh, Tailwind turns as well. Uh, you can paralyze things, and then this way Zygarde uh, and even Zambazenta can become like faster than things that are faster than it. Uh, just remember, you have a Tapu Fini. Uh, just you know, just be mindful, right? Um, and then Thunderous, you know, this is like your very strong, very fast Dynamax option, very hard hitting because you have a Life Orb now. Uh, really good at making Zygarde and Zamazenta stronger and faster with Max Knuckle and Max Airstream. So this is the this is the main trio, okay? And then um, you got enough support where like the team can actually do relatively well on ladder. Um, so let's go ahead and look at some damage calcs, and then we'll test it out uh, in a few games. Okay, so let's look at like Zygarde versus the the, the two other big dragons like Palkia and and Dialga. So this is Palkia. So no Dynamax here. 252 Life Orb Palkia, and then if you have the misty terrain um you you get the speed boost here that's a lumber yeah i'm gonna change that here let's just say it was uh it was the misty seed look how much that spatial rend does it does like not that much at all and then you know if you just go for your coil boost um i know this says dragon dance but that that was another build that i was doing um but honestly yeah you're you're, you're chilling here and then you know if you dynamax this and then you know they dynamax max wormwind uh, it just does nothing to Zygarde, <laughs> okay? And then even if you don't have the Misty Seed, uh, let's just say you don't have it. Um, so let's click that off. Max Wormer could KO, but then if you have Light Screen, again, you, you still live the, the Wormwind and just doesn't do that much. I, I mean, you're, you're, you're kind of chilling there. You just get uh, your boost and then you have a Grimmsnarl on the field. You can just click Spirit Breaks and then Palkia just doesn't do a lot. Um, so now if we just switch over to Dialga, uh, I think it's in the same, basically the same kind of category where like, you know, you're hard hitting Dialga, like 252 modest life orb. Um, let's just say, uh, this is like my old series 11 uh, Dialga bit. So let's go Draco Meteor, right? Now look at this. Um, so Dialga will do a lot, right? Uh, it'll absolutely just smash Zygarde um, with light screen. Okay, uh, and then Dynamax, right? Let's just so let's just max here. So like Max Wormwind again through Light Screen, not gonna KO it. We can always click Quake. We can get our speed boost going. Um, I'm not speed boost. Our special defense is going. Uh, and then now Wormwind and even their own. Well, they're not gonna click Quake. They're gonna always click Wormwind. And it just doesn't do a whole lot. And then you have Grimstar on the field as well. You can always click Spirit Breaks. <laughs> Um, so it's it's relatively fine, you know. Zyger Zyger can do okay against uh, the two Dialga and the Palkias, right? Uh, so that's always fine. Now, what about like what about like Ice Beam? Um, so this is where things get a little tricky because let's say like it's a Kyogre going for Ice Beam, right? So let's go custom Kyogre. It's going for Ice Beam, right? So Max Hailstorm. So even then, like through Light Screen, if this is 252 Modest. Uh, Hailstorm is not gonna even. Well, I have the speed boost, that's why. Okay, now we remove it. Okay, so Hailstorm, it's only gonna do, it's gonna do about 70%, but again, you're gonna live it. You're gonna get Zygarde complete, all right, and then you're gonna get your Quake boost. Uh, so I think that's gonna be relatively fine. And honestly, you know, like, what if it just clicks Ice Beam from here? So you actually do live the Ice Beam, which is actually kind of funny because if you live the Ice Beam, uh, and this is the main thing I was also trying to count for. If you live 252 Kyogre Ice Beam with Light Screen up, then you get Zygarde complete. You get all your health back, um, and then you're just gonna, you know, you're just gonna click spam 8,000 arrows, and then maybe have another slot that can just do big damage into Kyogre. But the point is, you live the Ice Beam from Kyogre, okay? And then you can get your Zygarde complete. So I just want to make that clear. And then, you know, even to Kyogre teams, Tapu Fini might even want to come sometimes. So yeah, just be aware of that. But yeah, those are the main calcs um, with Zygarde, you know, just being able to live that. Um, and then what about like one more thing? Let's look at Zacian Play Rough. I think that's all. That's also very important. 
um, standardization. Let's just go. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so play rough um, will one shot Zygarde, right? But if you have Reflect, uh, you live the play rough, and then you can go hand with a thousand arrows. Um, and then if you get Reflect and Intimidate, oh man, this 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 play rough just doesn't do anything. Then you, and then at the minimum, the, because you because you can still do the minimum, you break. Zygarde and then it gets Zygarde complete and then you get all your health back <laughs> and then then you just click thousand arrows to the end of time you click coil you know stuff like that so really cool that Zacian can break break you just at the bare minimum where now you can get Zygarde complete um so that's that's our EV spread that's that's you know why I like it a lot the Kyogre Ice Beam and the Zacian player of if it's jolly okay so now let's take a look at some other calcs okay so let's look at Tapu Fini against Rillaboom so this is um uh, without anything, right? So Grassy Glide has a chance to KO, but not like a hundred percent chance uh, with our defensive bulk. But then if you just get out your instant and intimidate it, um, then Grassy Glide just doesn't do a whole lot. I mean, it'll do like seventy percent at max, but you'll live it. Wood Hammer still kills you, but then look, if you have Reflect up, then now you live everything. So that's that's our set. So Reflect and Intimidate really just punishes Rillaboom. Um, let's look at Reggie Lucky now. Um, so a standard Lucky. So Without anything, again, Thunderbolt can kill you, but again, this is Magnet. You know, most Alekis right now are going Sash because they really need that Electro Web um, and to be able to live one turn. So Thunder, so you can live the Thunderbolt, which is actually really, really nice. Now, if you have the Light Screen, then Thunderbolt, you're just chilling. If this is a Life Orb Alecky, um, where it's just Max, then yeah, you still live that. And then if you were Modest, um, you also live that. So Modest, Thunderbolt, Alecky, um, with light screen up, you live it. Um, I just want—I would imagine like Dynamax can just actually one shot. Yeah. So like, all right, if if you want to die, then it has to it has to Dynamax. And if you're if you're an Alecky and if you Dynamax this against a Finny, then Zygarde just wins the game because what is Dynamax Alecky gonna do to Zygarde? Absolutely nothing. So if they want to Dynamax Alecky, let him do it. <laughs> That's what I want to say. So let's just take a look at a couple more. Okay, so let's look at Zamazenta against Landris here. So this is Max Quake uh, from a 252 Jolly Lando with no life orb. So it takes it, it takes it okay, 20% uh, health. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if that if that's considered okay, but you know if it had life orb, what is this doing? Um, so it has a chance to KO, not a great chance, 18%, not bad. But then you know if you have like reflect, and then you know look at this Max Quake does nothing, and then if you have then if you cycle in your Intimidate after that. Um, you know, then this Max Quake just really doesn't do anything. And honestly, you know, that's all you really need. You just need to live one, and then from there, you just dominate. Um, and then you have the Thunderous next to it, right? So then Thunderous just starts dealing big damage with Airstreams, and then now you're getting coaching boosts, um, you know, from your Zamazenta. And then, you know, just Landris just gets one shot if it Dynamaxes like this. So, uh, the fact that we can live that is relative, is pretty cool. What about Groudon here? Um, let's look at like a Citrus Groudon here. So first bump, Dynamax Groudon doesn't kill it. If we have Reflect, same thing, doesn't kill it. Um, if it's plus two, do you kill it? Uh, you you actually might. A very good chance you do. 75%? Okay, not bad. Um, but if what if you get in an Intimidate with Reflect? So it's plus one with Reflect. Okay, then you live. All right, so that's always good. So with Reflect, uh, and what I'm saying like after plus one is some of them are going for bulk up, some of them are going for Swords Dance, and then you get an Intimidate on it. So then it's just only plus one. So at the very least, your Zamazenta can live that. All right, so that's always relatively nice. Okay, and uh, those are just like some of the common damage costs, like you know, Zamazenta, Zyger. Now let's just look at Thunderous one more time. Uh, not one more time, but just that's the last one we want to look at. Okay, the main things I want to look at is Groudon and Lander Sensation. So Groudon, if it just Dynamaxes without anything, if it's like second EV bump, uh, you can live the Rockfall, but again, it's just gonna do so much damage. And then if you have to reflect, okay, that's a little bit better. And then you know, then if you can get Intimidate on it. Um, but you know, if you can't get the reflect up, it, more or less the same thing. Uh, but if this clicks Swords Dance, and now it's plus two, um, of course you're just gonna get murdered. Even with reflect up, you you just don't really live. Like e even though there's like you 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 have some health, like the life orb, and then the sand chip will just take you out. Um, like if you can manage to get in an Incineroar pivot to make this plus one instead, all right, then you have a chance with the Rockfall and the Reflect. But again, it's just so much damage, you know, after your own Life Orb chip and then Sand, you might just still die. But um, 
you know, uh, at least you can live one. <laughs> it all just depends on the scenario. So just be aware of Groudon, like, Swords Dancing and whatnot. I would not Dynamax a Lander, a Thunderous, if the Groudon click Swords Dance. I'd probably just go with the Zygarde instead and just cycle in Incineroars and, and, and try to get it to plus one or just new back to neutral. And then maybe I Dynamax the Zygarde. But yeah, that's that's my two cents there. Um, let's take a look at Zacian. So Zacian, standard Zacian here. Uh, no Dynamax, of course. Um, Behemoth Blade still does a lot, <laughs> even when we're Dynamax. Still does about 65 to 75%, and we resist that. That is that is insane. Um, this is why, you know, I would like a coaching boost or even reflect or intimidate on it. So with reflect, okay, then it just does about 50. You know, if we intimidate it, all right, still about 50. You know, anywhere to like max 50. So. You know, the, the instant and or reflect just really helps a lot against, you know, the physical matchups. So that's always relatively nice. And then, you know, if you just happen to have like a coaching boost going, you know, where you have like plus one, plus one already, um, then actually your max lightning just one shots Zacian, right? So if you're plus one already, just go ham, click the max lightning and Zacian dies. <laughs> Even if it was the adamant bulky one, it still might die anyway, because, you know, this is just such a big range. Um, you know, so don't be afraid to click the max lightning on the Zacian if you are already plus one. All right. Um, let's just look at land nurse here. Uh, it's a little bit weaker than Groudon, so again, um, you should be fine. Like if they just get in your their landers here, you know, you're technically already plus one to begin with. Um, and then if they Dynamax it, okay. Uh, but you know, Airstream just gonna do so much to a Dynamax Landers. And then what does he really do to you? Rockfall? I mean, yeah, I guess he can, but then he just loses next turn because now you're faster. So those are some of the common damage calcs. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at it in some test battles. Okay, so this is a Swordfish team, right? A very standard one, except he has a Whimsicott instead of a Torn. Uh, it makes sense here, actually. And then he has a P2 for like, I guess, Trick Room stuff to reverse it. I don't know if that's ideal, but and again, um, Z Z Zygarde looks really good here because Zygarde just destroys Zacian. Well, it can destroy Zacian. Does well against Zapdos. Does well against Incin. Um, and then you know P2 and Incin don't really matter too much. I guess the Incin can because you know Intimidate cycling. But um, honestly, Z Zamazenta and Thunderous look really really strong here because now he can't really lead Incin, um, and then he's forced to lead either the Zacian or the Kyogre here. So I think that's ideally what we want here. So let's go Zamazenta, let's go Thunderous here, and then uh, he actually just brought the Zapdos, holy cow. I mean, I, I can't imagine him doing this. Um, so this is probably like Tailwind, and then he could like, you know, go for Speed, go for Max Lightning on my Thunderous. Maybe he might even have Max Flare for my Zamazenta. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're bulky, we can take that, it's non-stab, so I think we're fine here. So, you know, Thunderous is just gonna steamroll here if I just... Do the right. All right, so you actually click Spirit Tear, so that's gonna be it for my Zamazenta. I want to double the Zapdos just to deal big damage into it, and we do deal some considerable damage. That's actually a bulky Zapdos. There is the Max Flare, and my Zamazenta just goes down, but that's okay. Um, you could argue I could have went for coaching right then and there, um, and then just Thunders would have done so much. But I think getting the double up was actually quite nice. So. Here we go. Here's Zygarde. So now what we can do is now we can start enabling our Zygarde. He goes Max Flare. Look how little that does. I don't even know why he did that. I think he should have just clicked ta Fake Tears again and then just clicked Max Airstream. I don't know why he did that. He probably could have even KO'd um, with that. But, you know, he chose not to go for it. So now um, I went for Airstream just to boost up my Zygarde even more. And then I went for Coil to set up the end game. And now I can protect because now what I can do is I know I'm not going to die. Um, and I can get the airstream off on the Whimsicott. And then if he goes into Zygarde, which he does, he's going to break me. And then I go, I'm going to get Zygarde complete. And that's actually what he does. I would have just clicked fake tears and then I would have just killed the Thunderous, but he chose not to do that. Um, but now I get Zygarde complete. I have Vincent in the back anyway, but here's Kyogre. Uh, so he goes for fake tears now, but he doesn't understand his speed tier. Um, so Kyogre just goes down and then here's the, you know, there's the, thousand arrows and then Zygarde just wins the game. Zacian can't do anything um, if he has it in the back and he just surrenders, right? So pretty cool. I mean, Thunderous went relatively fine. I thought my opponent should have went for fake tears um, more than once, but he only did it once. So let's look at another one. Okay, so this is another Zacian Kyogre team, but this time there's no Tailwind. Um, and Zygarde looks really good here because one, there's a Regilecki, so that's useless. 
and he's got this fire bug thing that's also not very good and Landers and Rillaboom don't really do too much to Zygarde so if I just lead Thunderous I'm thinking I'm pretty good so here's Zygarde here's Thunderous um, he actually goes Landorus, and there's the Volcarona. So this is actually really, really good because now my Thunderous is now plus one. Okay, so now I can Dynamax the Thunderous here. Um, he goes for the burn on the Zygarde, which is a good play for him. Uh, but I just wipe out the Landorus here, and now he's in big trouble. I don't know why he did that, um, but I understand why. Um, I guess I, I would have Dynamaxed and just tried. But, you know, a burn Zygarde, it's still okay because... Look at this. He maxed the Volcarona for some reason. Then he just dies. <laughs> Life Orb Thunders is just so good. I don't know why he maxed that. Um, Thousand Arrows does a little bit of good damage into Zacian. And look, Behemoth Blade just does so much damage. I lost most of my health there. Now here's the Kyrie. So he should have just maxed this. I don't know why he maxed the Volcarona. Um, but I have two speed boosts on Zygarde. I'm faster than both of these things now. You know, even if he maxed the... Even if he didn't max the Volcarona, it would have died anyway, and then if he maxed this, I'm faster, I probably would have just clicked max lightning, but you know, he could have always max guarded. Um, so he protects the Kyogre, which is a good play. Um, but I do do a good chip onto the Kyogre here, and I'm just gonna go for Thousand Arrows, deal more chip damage into Zacian, um, and now he kills my Thunderous. I probably would have went into Zygarde, but anyway. Um, but now I'm still okay, because now I get into Insin, and now I have Fake Out Pressure. I knew you protect there. I'm more scared of the Kyogre because it has Ice Beam, Thousand Arrows, um, good damage into Kyogre. And now we just win the game from here because we're faster. Goodbye, everything. And Zygarde, even though it was burned, it does good damage, right? Because you got the Coil Boost. Uh, not that it did good damage, but we chipped it enough with the Thunderous that Zygarde was able to clean up. And then Instant again, the, the fake out pressure, so that way we deny the Ice Beam from Kyogre is big, right? Because that's that's what matters. So let's look at another one. Okay, this is the Alga Sun with Regilecki. So this is actually a pretty cool team. Um, now, this is a game where Finny can actually do something because um, we can stop the Sleep Powder and we can get speed control on a lot of things here and then we can heal up our Zygarde if we need to. Now there is a Regilecki, but we have a Zygarde, so that's gonna be okay. We just have to make sure Venusaur doesn't get its sleep stuff and Thunderous still looks pretty good here. So here's Amazenta, here's Thunderous. I have Finny in the back and I have Zygarde. So here's Groudon, here's Venus. So I, again, I'm afraid of the sleep powder. Okay, uh, now he might sleep the Thunderous, right? That's the main thing. Um, I would hope not. Uh, but anyway, let's just go into Finny here. Let's see what he does. Uh, he might even quake the Zamazenta, um, which is what I'm thinking he does. Uh, and he actually does, which is which makes this swap even better. Um, I go for Airstream just to try and get faster than it. Um, and now I am because I clicked Airstream. So um, it depends on his Venusaur spray, right? If he's just like timid, um, then he's probably still faster. But, you know... Now, this is where, this is the play of the game. Alright, so he goes for bulk up. That's fine, but this is where I make a mistake. Um, I, I, I should have read into this max guard because now I don't get that extra speed boost. Nature's Madness is actually really good into Groudon here, especially after he went for all this bulk. Nature's Madness just, you know, overrides any of that. Um, and there's the Rock Sight. So what I should have done was air streamed the Groudon um, and then potentially went for a Nature's Madness. But, you know, um, because then he wastes his max guard and then I become faster than Venusaur then I kill it next turn um, and then Finny can just go for like you know icy wind stuff or another nature's madness but you know uh, the point is now I'm not faster um, and now he just blasts my Finny right I'm not faster I can't get off the heal pulse to heal my thunderous um, and I do kill the venue but that doesn't matter because now um, the rock slide I believe just kills me yeah, it does. So that was that was a misplay. Um, I should have definitely hit the ground on that turn. But again, I have Zygarde and I have Zamazenta. So this is still okay. Okay, I'm going to have to start boosting my Zygarde here. Um, I go for Coaching and I go for Coil. So remember, we had a Finny on the field. I have a plus one Spidef boost. This Draco Meteor, if he has it, isn't going to do a whole lot. Um, and now I can resist whatever Zygarde, I mean Groudon goes for it. That's a lot into Zamazenta. Look how little Draco Meteor did. So this is this is why Finny was so good and why Zygarde with Misty Seed is also really good. Um, because now we have plus two, plus two attack and defense. But the Vine Lash is ticking away. But we do get Zygarde complete. Um, and he goes into Regilecki. I don't know why he would bring that here. 
Um, and now we can go for the Thousand Arrows, does good damage into Groudon, and he is a Sash Aleki. But again, this Aleki is not a threat. It's just, you know, it's not really doing much into Zygarde. It's a ground type. Presbus Blades, again, nothing really. And now I can get off another coaching boost. Um, he protects the Aleki, but then again, what, what does that do? Um, so he, he, he wants to preserve, uh, he wants me to die to Vine Lash, um, the Zamazenta, but I get off another coaching boost. And now Zygarde um, is looking pretty good here because we're plus three, Dialga can't do anything, plus 3,000 arrows, one a single target just one shots Dialga, and then Groudon can't do anything because we can just KO it right now. Aleki can't do anything, but my opponent has the stupid tech. Uh, that you'll see right now and it's hyper beam reggie lecky and i just i just i just don't agree with that because why are you sash a lecky and you have hyper beam that is a life for that is a life for reggie lecky move why are you hyper beam focus as reggie lecky that means you have protect hyper beam electro web and what's your third move volt switch i guess but i just don't know about that one man like I, I lost that. But then again, the, the key was the turn two where I should have read into the max guard. I should have hit the Groudon instead of the Venu. Um, but yeah, that was that was my mistake. But we had a still had a great chance to win. Uh and he just happened to have hyper beam. Nothing I could have done about that. Don't use hyper beam focus as regulaki. That's just bad. <laughs> Alright, let's look at one more battle. Okay, this is James Beck's team. I remember he did a video with this um with the two dragons and then the Rotom and the Snorlax. So this Rotom has like Electro Web and it has Helping Hand, which is actually very scary next to these two dragons. I don't know why he has a Snorlax. I think that that's for like the Calyrex Shadow matchup. Grim and Rillaboom makes sense here. Uh, but this is where my own Grim Snarl can do really, really well because it can neuter both of these dragons, does well against his own Grim Snarl. So Zama's Denta Grim Snarl is really good. And then Zygarde can end the game uh, from the back. Okay, so he goes for Rotom Rillaboom. I mean, this is fine. Um, I'm just going to try and deal big damage into Rillaboom. I go for Reflect and Behemoth Bash. He doesn't even click Fake Out. He clicks U-Turn. I don't know why he did this. So here's the Reshiram. So Reshiram is in position. I can click um, Light Screen. Okay, he goes for the E-Webs. That's fine. Uh, I, I, I do. I think I do go for it, actually. Um, no, I went for Instant, right? So I wanted to stop the Blue Flare going into that slot. Um, and light screen just absolutely helps me live against Reshiram, which is really nice. Uh, so now what I can do, I can start going for parting shots into Reshiram. He could Dynamax and Max Quake, but I don't think that's ideal. He clicks Protect. Um, I don't know what he's afraid of here, but he clicked Protect. Um, there's the Hydro Pump. Again, we have the light screen up. Um, so I don't get my parting shot off. Uh, I would imagine... Um, Alright, so now he switches into Zekrom, but again, doesn't change the goal. Um of trying to go for parting shot here so i know this zekrom is physical so i'm just going to go into zygarde and now i'm going to bring back my ensign and now i have all my screens and this zekrom is minus two this is as good of a time as ever to go for those coil boosts <laughs> all right and i'm just going to parting shot that slot no matter what in case he switches which he did all right so there's my parting shot so this restaurant is minus one now and here's the zamazenta and now i can go for the combo i'm all set up and there's nothing he can do. He actually Dynamaxes, which I think is a mistake. Um, so he goes for Helping Hand. I go for Coaching. Um, I just happen to outspeed him. And down goes a Dynamax Reshiram. <laughs> but I wasn't going to die even if he even if he was faster. Because he was already minus one. I Dynamaxed. All right. I I, I, I have my screens. We're, we're, we're chilling. Okay. And he just forfeits from there. So again, all I did was go for my positioning. I got my screens up. Zygarde and Zamazenta just dominate the game from there. So, you know, you know that this is this is this was the Grim Snarl game. So yeah, that that there's that. So yeah, here's the pace one more time. So yeah, the the, the team is good. I mean, the team functions the way it's supposed to function. Uh, it's all about enabling your physical attackers with like coaching, and then your coil boosts, uh, weakening them with instant and Grim Snarl, and then Tapu Fini support. The Tapu Fini support should have worked. Uh, in that other game, I just misplayed it and I didn't switch it out in time. So um, there's that. But yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a, it's a good team. Uh, I, I like the way it functions. If if there was a if I could make a rental, 
I would, I would use it for a video. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have the space. I'm gonna have to ask the viewer to make it for me or I'll ask one of my mods. Um, but one other thing that's actually really cool here is this build. Um, so same six, but what I did with the instant, I made it adamant instant. So I'm adamant 116 instant. So now Incineroar becomes a good attack uh, Mon and it becomes a good Dynamax option and you can really take surprise Zations here and Adamant 116 can one shot pretty much 95% of the Zations out there um, So I think this is really really nice uh, Especially if you can put this and then top of Fini, then you can't really sleep in Cinderor and then it just dominates from there uh, So, you know, this is another thing to consider um, So this is the careful one the one that we originally made um, and then this is the adamant, uh, slower instant, but still relatively bulky, especially with Grim Snarl. I think this is something that's really, really cool. And maybe I might, I think this one might be a little bit better if I had to be perfectly honest. I think this is a little bit better. I would go this route. Yeah, adamant instant looks actually really, really nice because, you know, you just go, now you can be a support and an offensive mon. So yeah, um, again, we started with this. <laughs> we started with the viewer sending me this. And then we ended up with this. All right. So if you think we made the team better um, for Zamazenta or technically Zamazenta Zygarde, let me know in the comments. And again, if this is something you're interested in with team fixing, where you give me a team and I fix it up and I optimize it um, and I test it out and I show you how the team works, that's a tier two sub. So make sure you subscribe. And then if you want team building, which is a tier three sub where we build a team from scratch, um, that is a tier three that you could look into and then you just message me on discord and then we start planning from there So let me know what you guys think uh, But until next time, we'll be back with another series 12 video Have a good one